hey 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 what's up beauties welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video and in this video i'll be showing you this look which i call the blooming eyeshadow look so i'm starting off with primer as usual i always prime my face before i think it gives a smoother base to apply my foundation and I'm, i use the hydrating primer by elf cosmetics and i just spritz my face using the elf mist and set spray as well that helps me to be more hydrated and as you can see i did my brows off camera and i'm moving on to my eyelids i applied some aoa concealer to form my eyeshadow base and i'm just tapping that in with my fingers to blend it this look is so easy i promise y'all if you are a beginner this is so easy you can do it too and i'm just going over my lids with a light pink eyeshadow nothing much to it it's not complicated just filling the entire lid with pink eyeshadow i went back and forth in my eyeshadow palette this eyeshadow palette is from coastal fence and i just went back in to build up the color to what I was satisfied with which is still light and then I used a eyeliner pen this one is from NYX cosmetics and I'm just drawing what appears to be a tree branch just a small branch it doesn't have to be neat it doesn't have to be straight because branches they have different sizes and shapes and irregular patterns so it does not have to be perfect and then at the end of the branches i proceeded to put some pink gems i used light pink eyeshadow and then i used a darker pink shade for the gems or it would look like rose pink gems what i'm aiming for is to have a branch with some blooming flowers or blossom or whatever you want want it to represent and I think I was able to pull it off. I liked the outcome. It's something different. I've never done anything like this before and I really like it. So tell me what you think. I'm just gonna move on to the next eye and there it is when both eyes are finished. So I added a little highlight on my brow bone to bring that part forward. Did that for both eyes and I also applied it in the corner of my eyes to just open brighten up my eyes more for this look I'll be doing that one layer makeup pack where I'll be applying all my products and then blend everything instead of putting on foundation and then adding product after product that's not what we're doing in this video so I've highlighted all the areas that I want to highlight using my AOA concealer which is one to two shades lighter than my skin tone and then I applied my blush this blush is from Shane, Shane Glam and uh, I'm applying some Revlon color stay foundation that's darker than my skin tone and then my foundation is from AOA I'm applying that to the areas that I didn't highlight or contour the key to getting this application method to come out as flawless as possible is to hydrate 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 so I spritzed everything on my face before I started blending and you want to start out blending the lighter products before moving on to the darker products so I'm blending out my highlighted areas first by the way guys have you subscribed to my channel as yet we are we at pine it's time for you to start following my channel to learn makeup hacks makeup tips tips different makeup looks it's time to just subscribe to that channel so hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so after i did the highlights i'm moving on to my foundation and i'm blending that in using a different brush I just realized that my blush got lost in the blending process but I'll be adding um, powder blush at the end of the application of all the products so I'll still get my rosy cheeks.
if you've already subscribed to my channel big up yourself love the support enough respect and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to watch my videos and just go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already thank you so much to all of you guys who have sub subscribed who have supported my journey i could not do this without you i wouldn't be motivated to make videos without my subscribers so thank you all I blended out the contour and I like to take a damp beauty blender and just blend everything on my face so that everything pulls seamlessly together and look flawless. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going over everything with a damp beauty blender. Time to set the face. We're using cream products so you gotta set them with powder and I'm using the Sasha powder palette i love 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 this powder palette guys so finely milled it gives a flawless finish on the face and i'm starting off with my highlighted areas i'm using a powder to match that light tone and if you notice i'm just pressing the powder into my skin i'm not brushing it on i'm pressing it into my skin that way i get a flawless finish and my makeup will stay in place all day using the same palette to set my skin tone with my shade and I'm using that same palette to um to contour I'm just going for one of the darker shades So for contouring to get that snatched straight face, you want to make sure you contour your jawline, your forehead, of course I've done my cheekbones already, and I'm finishing my contour with my with contour my nose. Let's contour my nose. I like to use a smaller brush. Some people just use the same contour brush and just apply it to the sides of their nose. But I like to go in with a smaller brush and just contour my nose. Sometimes I like to use a, a bit lighter powder than my contour shade because I don't want it to be sharp and too obvious. So I am using Postal Sense Blush Palette to just apply a little rose blush to my cheek. And then I'm gonna do the buffin method to just seamlessly blend everything together. To do this, I took a clean brush and my face powder in my shade, and then I'm just gonna blend over everything on my face with that powder. It's not gonna move what you've already done. It's not gonna disrupt your foundation or your contour or anything. It's just gonna seamlessly blend everything together. I learned that from Wayne Goss, y'all. It's a technique by Sonia and Faisal, but Wayne Goss is the one I learned that from. So I'm fixing up my, my eyeliner, just using a black pencil, and then on for my lash line I'm going in with black shadow and then I'm just gonna smoke out the black shadow with some rosy pink eyeshadow now for mascara this one is from Maybelline and I'm just adding some to my natural lashes before I apply my falsies. And let me tell you something. You see, if you have problems putting on your lashes, get you a lash glue and liner in one. You're gonna thank me later because it's super easy to use a lash glue and liner in one. You use it to just line your eyeshadow. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm adding my highlights before I put on my lashes. But back to what I was saying, if you have problems applying your lashes, get you a liner and a lash glue in one. This one is from I Envy, and I absolutely love, 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 love it. I'm gonna make sure I buy some more because this makes my lash application so, so easy. And if you have problems, if you're a beginner, get this. Thank me later because it works and it's pretty good as well your lash will stay on all day my 
My lashes are from Beautiful Bells, by the way. Those are my lashes. Look at the difference, you guys. Now, moving on to my lips. I'm lining my lips with a brown pencil. My lip color that I'll be filling in my lips with is from Coastal Scents. I have a lip palette from them, and I'm just going to take a nude shade from the palette to fill in my lips. I'm going to go over it with a little bit of lip gloss to just add a pop of shine on top. And this is from LA Colors. I think my look was missing something, so I added some pink earrings, and this is the final look. What y'all think? Look at this look, it's so unique and pretty. I really liked how this turned out. And if you liked it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching my video, and until next time, see you in my next video. Bye.